Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are working on our entertainment center and we want to hide those cords that are creating that disorganized visual clutter, right? Let's take a look. All right, YouTubers, in the living room right now, we have a floating entertainment center. We have the Samsung 55 inch curved TV above, about a 12 inch gap in between the top portion of the floating entertainment system and the bottom portion of the TV. As you can see, two wires. First wire is the power lead for the TV. The second wire is for our Google Chromecast. We just bought a brand new Samsung 8500 Blu-ray player. That is going to add one more wire and all the wires feeding up to the right will go to the HDMI connection points. So what we did at our local Best Buy, we just purchased the cord cover kit, as you can see here. And these are plastic and paintable, which is really nice. High capacity cord cover kit for hiding and organizing large quantities of cords and cables. So let's open up the box and get familiar with this. Real quick, going to the opposite side. Additional features and a pictorial version. You can do quite a lot. You can hide a lot of wires from the outlet to whatever source you are running your wires to. All right, making progress. Went ahead and removed one part. One of the coolest features about this, this is double-sided tape here. So we are not going to have to grab a drill or wall mounts or screws. All we're going to do is pull or peel the liner off. On the back of the box are your instructions. Safe, quick, and easy to use. Number one, wall surface must be clean. Do not use on textured surface. Number two, cut channel to desired length. So what we need to do, we've got about a foot, however, we are going to cut about 14 inches because we do not want the top portion to be shown. So about two inches will go up behind the actual TV. Next thing, I grab the measure and from the tip, 14 inches back again, the measurement from the top portion of our entertainment center to the bottom portion of our TV is 12 inches. We want two additional inches so we can't see the top, which will alleviate us sitting on the couch and being able to see those cords coming out the top portion as it connects to the TV. So 14 inches and we will head out and cut this. And before I actually cut it, I wanna show you how this is disconnected. You've got a little tab here. And once you open that up, again, this is the rear portion here with the double-sided tape and you will put all your cords inside there and when it comes time to secure it you just push and go the entire distance of the cover all right in front of me i've got the cord cover or organizer part with the proper measurement and from our local lows for six dollars we bought a six inch junior hacksaw we'll go ahead and open this up and we'll start cutting Cut is complete and we still have a little bit of rough edges and what I'll just do is you can grab some sandpaper if you have some handy. However, this is pretty loose so what I'll just do is use my finger to press and remove any rough portions as you can see here. From here we will go grab the paint and paint it. All right, YouTubers, we chose a roller and we're using the same paint that we used on our wall. And we have the actual part in the closed configuration because we don't want paint inside that groove there because paint will get sticky. And in the event that you wanna open this to remove cords or add cords, that paint will stick. And as you open this up, it may peel paint off the side. That would not be good. Now we are going to paint this before we insert it and secure it to the wall. You can actually insert this now on the wall and then paint it later. It's up to you, but this is how we are going to do it. And again, we chose the roller.
And we like the roller because it alleviates brush marks from a paintbrush. So once we get it done, we're not actually going to paint the backside, obviously. That is where the two-sided tape is. From here, we're just going to rest it in place and let it dry. All right, back at the entertainment center. And I let a day go by and let this fully dry. And then I opened it up. And I've also added an additional cable, which is our Blu-ray DVD player cable. And that feeds all the way to the HDMI port on the TV and down to the actual Blu-ray player. Open this up and I know the instructions say no textured surfaces, however, yeah, that's textured, but we're going to give it a shot and see how it works. So what I'll do is I will feed all of the cables inside this. And then what I wanna do is center it properly. Now the center beam here is the center point of the entertainment center, as well as this hole. So I will center it accordingly. And then what I wanna do is grab my measure. And before applying the actual part to the wall, I want it to be level. So I will use both hands, go ahead and remove the adhesive strip on the back and apply it to the wall. And once I apply this to the wall, I wanna push and hold for about 20 seconds and apply pressure throughout the entire piece just to get it firmly pressed against that surface. All right, making progress. One of the things that is not a cool part of this project is I don't have a cutout right here. It would be a lot easier and convenient if I did have a cutout on the rear side of my actual entertainment center. So with that said, I have to somewhat curve the cables toward the wall and inside the cable cover and go ahead and snap it closed. Now I could spend a few minutes and carve a hole. However, I'm not going to do so in this event. So again, it's not all the way closed. And what I'll do is snap it shut from the top And there it's closed. And what I will do is remove that adhesive or double-sided tape strip on the back. And once I've got it perfectly level, I will press and secure it to the wall. I'll need both hands. All right, YouTubers, that was easier than I thought. So again, here's the top portion of the entertainment center. And as the three cables come out, they make a curving turn toward the wall. And once they make it to the wall, they make a curved turn upward inside the actual cable cover. Now this cable cover is snapped and closed. And again, as you rest this piece onto the wall, make sure it is level. As you can see, ours is pretty good. I'll measure the other side. Pretty good. And again, as you apply this piece to the wall, press and hold for about 15 to 20 seconds throughout this entire piece and properly set that double-sided tape to the surface. And again, earlier the instructions said, do not put this on textured surfaces. However, ours is pretty firmly on there. So depending on how textured your surface is, if it's similar to this, hey, this works really good. It's on there pretty firmly. From here, I'll come down below. We've got a bunch of cables and our brand new Blu-ray player. We are going to clean all that mess up down in the entertainment center as well. Far better than it did earlier with those three cables sticking out and making clutter in between the entertainment center and the TV. So we really like it. Now there are several different options of this piece. You can get it in a wider, flatter piece. And we just recommend that you get the part that is paintable. And again, what we'll do in between the entertainment center and the TV is decorations, and or family photos. That's it, YouTubers. Hope the video helped. Hey, do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.